Good evening, everybody. JDev has returned once again to give you exactly what you want. And of course, that would be more of me, that amazing backdrop that's behind me, giving you my thoughts, my opinions, and what I hope will be some expert analysis on a certain topic subject. Of course, I'm here with my weekly Chicago Cubs report since it's Wednesday. I'm going to be covering my favorite baseball team of all time and arguably my favorite sports team of all time, the Chicago Cubs. But this week, I'm actually going to open it up and cover the Milwaukee Brewers a little bit. Since that's the hometown team, I figured I'd talk about the hometown team, even though I'm not the biggest Brewer fan. But I do root for them when the Cubs are no longer in contention, which won't be this year, that's for sure. So, last week I left off with the Cubs. They did officially sign Craig Kimbrell, one of the best closers in baseball. The official contract is three years, $43 million, which actually is a really good deal for arguably one of the best closers in baseball. And the fact that the Cubs have a lot of bullpen guys that are going to be free agents to come. And their bullpen's kind of not that good right now, but you're looking at Steve Ciszak is going to be a free agent after this year. Pedro Strope is going to be a free agent. Brandon Morrow is going to be a free agent. Brian Dunsing, if they even still have him, I think he's in Iowa right now. He's going to be a free agent, and he hasn't done shit this year anyway. And then in the year, then the next year, uh, Tyler Chatwood, who, well, he's not that good anyway. So I think getting Kimbrell for that, low of a deal is going to be very helpful. And Kimbrell, he's only 32, 31. He's got plenty left in the tank. He's got at least four more solid MLB seasons left, if not more. So I really like that deal. And actually, I'm really excited to go buy a Craig Kimbrell jersey. But he's number 24 now. I hope Pedro Strope gives him his number because Craig Kimbrell should be 46. Just my opinion, but Strope has been with the Cubs quite a while, so maybe that's kind of he's one of the team captains or something like that, other than Rizzo. So that's that news. Carlos Gonzalez hit his first uh, Cubs home run. It was an opposite field shot in Wrigley, so that was exciting. I'm telling you guys, Carlos Gonzalez is one hell of a pickup. For a fourth slash third outfielder, you know, if people are struggling, he's just going to play. And, yeah, he's not making that much contact, and he strikes out a lot, but I think it's a good pickup. So Kimbrell, Carlos Gonzalez are going to be great. Kimberly obviously is doing an extended spring training right now at Mesa, and then he's going to go to Iowa. I'm guessing he'll be with the club by June 25th, maybe June 22nd, somewhere around there. Could be even later, but uh, I'm really excited to see Craig Kimbrell with the Chicago Cubs. It's kind of a life dream, actually. I really like Kimbrell. I really do. It's not a lie. I really do. Every year in fantasy baseball, who do I go after? Craig Kimbrell. Johnny will tell you. Craig Kimbrough, that's my guy. Oh, so that's that's the Cub news on the, the signing and the, the acquisition front. They actually swept the Cardinals over the weekend, and that's that's always a great thing. And then, of course, they ran into the buzzsaw that is the Colorado Rockies, and the Rockies just took two out of three against them, which, you know, that's unfortunate. Chris Bryant got hit a bunch of times. I don't know what's up with the Rockies. They just like to hit Chris Bryant or something. So hopefully that shit stops ASAP, because I'm not liking that. Uh, so that's that's good. I think the Cubs still need an arm in the bullpen, specifically a left-handed guy that can get lefties and righties out, because I'm not really confident with the guys that they have right now, other than their starters. Kyle Hendricks, or not Kyle Hendricks, I'm sorry, Cole Hamels and John Lester. Quintana, yeah, he's kind of shaky sometimes. So it would be nice to get that solid lefty guy like a Tony Watson or something like that. Will Smith even, maybe. So that's my take on that. And now let's talk about the Milwaukee Brewers. I am a diehard Cub fan, but I can't help but say last year when the Cubs were officially eliminated, I was rooting for my hometown team, the Milwaukee Brewers, because I did like the Brewers. He fell in love with Bob Uecker back in the day. So I really like when the Brewers contend, and I think they they're kind of contenders right now, but they're not doing enough to really contend. This Brewers team is not going to win a World Series. They need to acquire the arms that are necessary to help them win the World Series. Now, who who could the Brewers acquire? And if, if they will even require, I don't even know if they will acquire anybody, to be honest with you. But a guy like Marcus Stroman, I think the Brewers might get. And I don't think that's the answer because he's Never been a consistent pitcher. He had, like, one good year. So I don't think Stroman's the answer. I think the answer for the Brewers is to acquire Mark Melanson and Madison Bumgarner from the Giants. Maybe for even Ryan Braun. 
and then obviously throw in a prospect or two or three to make the deal work. That gives the Brewers another bullpen arm to go with Hader and Jeffers, and it gives them a legit ace that will get you to the World Series. They might not make it, but it certainly gives them a lot more hope. I mean, their rotation right now, in my opinion, is in shambles. You've got Woodruff that's been really good. Jalee Shasheen is on the DL. And I don't even know who else they got. Jason Anderson, you know, I, I really think the Brewers need to get that one starter. And there's not going to be a lot of guys available. So if you can try to acquire Bumgarner, you need to do it. You need to give up the prospects to get him. And they also, I think they need to get rid of all these first basemen slash first basemen that they have. You know, I was never a fan of Jesus Aguilar. I thought he had a fluke season. And they should have sold him when they had the chance. So if a team wants him, I would sell on Jesus Aguilar. I just don't like him. But then again, you kind of want to keep the, the righty-lefty platoon with him at Thames, maybe. I always thought Travis Shaw was really good, but he's not doing that well this season. And I think they really should put Moustakis and keep him at third base. And then maybe get a second baseman like a Joe Panic, Another guy that you could add to that deal. So Panic, Melanson, and Baumgartner. For a package, maybe with Ryan Braun included to kind of match up the salaries, because Melance is making like fifteen million a year. So that's my take on that. The Brewers definitely need to spend some money. They need to put a better product on the field. I don't know why they were waiting in the offseason. They did they didn't acquire the arm that they needed, and they didn't reinforce that bullpen. You had a legit bullpen last year, and guess what? You lost pieces of that puzzle. And then didn't improve it. So, and now look, Canable's out for the season. You lost Joaquin Soria, and Hayter's getting hit. Jeffers, who knows about him? And I, I understand the Brewers didn't sign Craig Kimbrell because they didn't want to keep him for a long term or a multi year deal because they had Corey Canable. Let me ask you this How bad was Corey Canable the first half of the season last year? I don't know if that's a guy you want to keep in the bullpen or keep in the closer role. I'd rather have a solid guy like Craig Kimbrell than Corey Canable. But that's just my opinion. They didn't want to spend the money. They spent the money on Yasmani Grandal, which I guess he's been okay, but I think that deal's going to come back to bite them, and I don't think he's going to do that good in the second half. So I don't know. I think the Brewers would be good to get some pieces to the puzzle. They're going to have to trade away some people, but I really want them to contend. I would love to see an NL NLCS Cubs Brewers. That would be just crazy. So that's my Cubs report slash Brewers report for this week. If you have any comments regarding the Cubs or the Brewers, I would love for you to comment them. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what your thoughts are on who teams should acquire, you know, the Cubs and the Brewers, who, who they should go after. Because I don't think the Cubs are done making the moves yet. And the Brewers better make some moves because they will be – in trouble if they don't. So make sure you leave a comment. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. And of course, I'll be back again soon with another. Peace.